right to it. It's improv. You guys know what it is. You know what's happening. Everyone, please go crazy for Tandy! Foot, wet foot spots all this over the place. This is my red carpet. Oh my goodness. Hello, everybody. We're Tandy. I'm Yay! Oh, oh, I'm Tiffany. Sorry. And I'm Andy. <laughs> Yay! Now's the yays. Now's the time for yays. Uh, yeah, we're going to do uh, a mono scene for you, so we'll just get one suggestion from you here in a little bit. Uh, we'll start playing two characters. We'll stay with those two characters in one location for the duration of our set. So just to get us started, any word, a word. Alligators. Alligators. Thank you very much. I'm worried they're in the tall grass. Linda, we're not even gonna get away from them if you can't just help me here, okay? They're all around us. What do you it's want what me they to do? What do you want me to do? I, 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 emotional and physical support. <laughs> You'll find gas. Hooray, go you. Okay, well now that just seems like you're 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 infantilizing me. I'm your husband, not your child, okay? I'm sorry. Now, we do need gas. That was an astute observation. It's over. <laughs> I didn't think of it. Thank you for being a loving wife. <laughs> I don't know how you're still scared of them. We've lived among them for 15 years. It never gets old. Like what? They're just there to not bite us because we lived here for 15 years? No. Their instinct is to eat and kill us. Yeah, but they get used to your smell. You know, they get used to your friendly face. You throw them a couple marshmallows. They, they do fine. No, that just keeps them coming back for more. You know, you don't like leave a bowl of milk out for stray cats, and you don't throw marshmallows at wild alligators. Why are you living life with so many rules? <laughs> <laughs> it's how I've stayed safe, okay? It's how I maintain my sanity. Yeah. Fuck, that wasn't it. Mm -hmm. Well, we might as well enjoy the picnic that we were going to have out in the middle of the marsh, right here on the edge of the marsh. So, <laughs> grab me the igloo. <laughs> Why would you put so everything so far away? <laughs> See, if I want to buy a big boat to show the neighbors my stature, I'm going to buy a big boat to show the neighbors my stature. The wider the boat, the bigger the man. So you're, oh you're just admitting that it's more a status symbol than a practicality. Absolutely! Did you think that I stickered this boat with the name Honk just to name the boat Honk? I, personally, I didn't know why you chose Hong. I was hoping you would name it after me. It ends in a hard consonant. <laughs> it's a powerful thing. I understand. Think of all the great men you know. Frank. Frank's not that great. You think Frank, that is your ideal man is Frank? He owns the bar. He's the <laughs> most powerful person in this town. You want booze before 11 p.m., you go to Frank. If you're friends with Frank, you'll get it after 11 p.m. <laughs> what about everyone who doesn't go to the bar, though? What about everyone who decides not to waste their nights just getting shit-faced? <laughs> okay, half <that's> sandwich. <laughs> you're telling me there are people in this town who live without it's the only thing to do. I find plenty of things to do. I have a book club. How many people are in your book club? Two. One other person. Two total. <laughs> and how often does that other person actually come and not just say they're coming on Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to have a nice day. Who says we're not having a nice day? I feel a divide between us. Well, Jesus, now that you said it, it's true. I was having dandy fucking time. Really? <laughs> yes! You didn't feel any sort of tension between us. The weather is nice. I'm here with somebody I like, albeit I can't stand. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just use the word like when describing our relationship? Did you just say you right. like me? Now we're getting into semantics. Okay? We have been married for 15 years. And I shouldn't have to 
just say love. It's <laughs> gross. Oh, come on. I said it on our wedding day. What more do you want? <laughs> Lack sometimes can be stronger than love. It's said less. And it's actually said but, about things that you feel strongly about. Like when you really like a restaurant, you like that restaurant. You don't walk around just saying love that restaurant. That'd be weird. If I enjoy going to a restaurant, I would say that I love that restaurant. But nobody believes it, right? Nobody believes it when you say you love it because then it feels like you're overselling it. How many times have you said, oh, I'm going to Frank's, oh, I love that place, as you head off to the bar once again? Well, that's different. I love Frank. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. You're going to say you love this bartender and just, I get a like. Okay, first of all, he's not a bartender. He's an entrepreneur. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He started that building from the ground up. He built that bar what it was after he inherited it from his father. All right. It takes a lot. You don't know what it's like to inherit something that's already half done and have to finish the rest of the half. <laughs> know what it's like to inherit half a man. <laughs> Fuck, get off the honk. <laughs> Are you joking me right I now? I swear to God, I hope an alligator eats you. That's just cruel. You know I am terrified of alligators. I moved here for you. New York City isn't that fucking great. Are you kidding? <laughs> it's not that fucking great. It's I'm the not... capital of the world. It's full of buildings and piss on And zero alligators. <laughs> <laughs> you hurt my feelings. <laughs> I'm surprised, actually. Because you'd have to, like, care about me deeply in order for me to hurt your feelings in the first place. I don't know where you get off thinking that I don't care about you, all right? I wouldn't do half the shit I do if I didn't care about you. If I didn't care about you, then I'd be living in a one-man hut in the middle of a field talking to jack shit no one. <laughs> the fact that I even let you in my life is proof that I care about you. Oh, you, you. let me in your I life. I let you, you in let me more in than I've life. ever let anybody else in, so that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you to measure how I feel about other people? Do you remember when we first met? That bowling alley? You got the strongest arms I've ever seen on a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Came over to me. It's like, oh, cool, turkey, huh? First, I thought you were being insulting, but then... No, you fucking bowled three strikes right in the world. It's impressive. It meant a lot that you would just kind of come up and, and start talking to me like that. I just... It's not in my nature to be outgoing and expressive. And I can't always promise that I'm going to do that for you. I'm not asking for you to be expressive. I'm just asking... I'm asking for the bare minimum. Love. The expression of love. Say it, mean it, do it. But can't I mean it without saying it or doing it? <laughs> <laughs> but then how? You just know, right? You just know you feel it when I walk into a room. I fucking feel it when you walk into a room. I'm I know you love me. You don't have to say or do jack shit. I do all the jack shit. What? I made all of those sandwiches. I <laughs> I'm the one that filled up all of this gas. But you like uh, doing that. Uh, That's for you. <laughs> that is a burden. It is labor, OK? It is labor to have to do that. OK, but take, for instance, honk, right? <laughs> this is a labor to take care of. But I do it. I sweep the deck. I mop it. I, I, I hose it off when we've had a dry season that's brought a lot of dust into the region, okay? <laughs> and I do it because I love this boat. 
Yourself, so really you didn't open it for me, but you are taking something that meant to be for you and then you gave it to me. Listen, yeah. I don't want to buy it with you, all right? It is 82 degrees with slight overcast. I know. It's perfect for the weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, all right? And I may have stupid fucked up ways of showing it, but just I love you, and there's not really much more I can say. That's all I want you to say. I just want you to say that. My body feels very uncomfortable You're right doing now. great. <laughs> you said it a couple of times. I kind of want to wring my liver out. No. I don't know why. <laughs> no. I'm so proud of you. It just feels weird, all right? That's not how I was. I don't know. I just, I, I'm not, I didn't know I was allowed. I didn't feel like, I do, do you know what I'm saying? Your parents never told you that they loved you? I don't remember hearing it. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Uh, you look at, you I know. mean, it's not fine, but we can, <laughs> we can move past that, right? <laughs> We're not defined by our past. And right now, you and I are in a relationship in the present, and we can. Take breaks, all right? Take Frank's bar. Yeah, okay. He inherited 50% of a bar done. And it's <laughs> kind of like what our parents give us when we go into adulthood is like 50% of Frank's bar, right? It was 50% of the people that we're going to be. And it's really hard to backtrack that 50% and become something else. And I feel like you're asking me to backtrack 200%. And that's actually a very apt metaphor for. Thank you. We're talking about. I took two <laughs> semesters of philosophy at the community college. <laughs> I never told you that. You were doing that in secret? Do you have a passion for philosophy that I don't know about? I think about <laughs> shit, okay? I think about it, and sometimes it's nice to sit in a room with other dudes who are thinking about it too. But the problem with just thinking about it is that sometimes we don't say the things or we don't do anything. We just sit there thinking. And we sit there stewing, and it's so internalized that we forget to connect to the people. I don't want to give you half of a thought. Half of a thought is better than no thought at all when it comes from you. That felt very nice. I'm not. No. What are you feeling like? I don't know. It's like. If you could even just like turn it into a sound. <laughs> 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 Which I think is like relief and fear and then relief again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 oh. I don't think I've ever f You know before when I was saying like I knew when you loved me? 
feel like I feel you loving me in a different way when you said that. <laughs> See, this is why I didn't want no, to tell no, you no, half no. the thing, because no. your face said that no, you No, 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 no. Maybe uh, give it to me in a metaphor. I love, I love it when you use metaphors. Um, okay, so... You can use Frank's bar if you want to. Well, I was going to go there. I was going to, you know how Frank usually has hands? Yeah. But every once in a while, he'll go into, like, Miami and get an imported beer from Miami. Right. Oh, in yeah. the middle of Florida. Yeah. That, he like, weird it. sort of foreign we beer. We try it, and you're like, this feels like beer, but different beer. Mm -hmm. It wasn't as strong of a metaphor. No, I still love it. And I love the effort, though. And that's what it's all about, right? It's about the effort. And I, we can make the effort work. Because then I, at least I know Shut that, no, 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 Shut we have the net, we have the net. Stop fucking talking, I swear to God, just shut the fuck up and don't move. <laughs> I don't know about if we're gonna die. Listen, we're, we're gonna, gonna die if you don't quiet. It's not the time, we're making a lot of progress, but now it's not the time, okay? Progress doesn't come in moments where we're gonna die. Progress comes from moments of reflection after we almost die. Yes. All right? Come up now, come up now. Yeah. <laughs> 